Hello, welcome back. This is Kench1913, and we are Let's Playing Chronicles of the Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate, the finale. In the last episode, we beat the optional super, super, super boss, and we got some pretty nice items, although not that great. I mean, this is pretty awesome. Increases attack strength by 200 for all allies. Yeah, so that's an in-battle item. And now we're here in the bottom of the abyss, ready to take on Zion, the frail man. The frail atrocity of the guy. The guy looks like either he hasn't slept in a while or he hasn't eaten in a while. It's Zion. Yes, I'm the atrocity himself. You must be the insects the Anto told me about. But no matter though, you're too late. Your world will be consumed by the abyss, and I will reign as your god. Yeah, I don't think everyone's gonna let you. We're, we're not gonna let you out of here. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you really don't have any hold or sway if we beat that bonus boss. And we even beat the guy, the god that like possessed friggin' Magus. Are you kidding me? You're not X Death. You do not have the essence of the abyss. On my very soul, I swear this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes, bring on the bring on the thing. Uh-huh, you are a fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've haunted our world long enough, granted he hasn't been in our world that long. But yeah. And yeah, Galena is way stronger than you. Oh yeah, yeah, Zeria, she, I mean, uh, your sister did die, but, uh, I mean, that wasn't really Xeon, that was more Zextor. So now it's time to take on Xeon, the atrocity of the gods. Why did I use that item right away? Ugh. Alright, let's show what Onslaught will be. Not 2,000, all very close. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna use it here. Let's show off how sweet this thing's gonna be. Alright, let's heal up. And let's watch the attack power happen now. Let's see what this is all about. Ah, 8,000. Let's use this. Good thing is go. Let's try out this. Good music, final boss music. You have two ten thousands. I don't. Oh, you use the same skill that other guy did. So let's see, here's just as powerful. Ah, yes, it is. Maybe a wee bit weaker. You know what, Zeria? Use that other potion. Let's get real hardcore. Let's see how Magus likes uh, destroying his enemies. Probably he likes it a lot. Now let's see how it's on slot works. 3,000 each, ah, uh, that's great. This is the abyss, I use Zextor's move because I'm so cool. Yeah, I know, you're probably thinking I'm way over level. And I would agree with you. But how else am I supposed to beat that up?
twice. And he's dead. That's it. Mr. Zeon the Atrocity of Gods was no match for Dark Lord and his ladies. And we get one experience and one coin. And we get the key to the Abyss and the Inferno Diadem. I wonder if that's the item you need to get to the, uh, something. I was so close! Yeah, we better put that thing on there. Yeah, read it. Don't seal it! Whenever anyone seals anything, it never works all the way. Destroy it. How do we know if the ceiling worked? We cannot wait around here to find out. Our asses have to be out of here. And she can warp all of us? Wow, nicely done. And look, we destroyed the abyss and sealed Xeon. Although, I don't think we should have sealed Xeon, because whenever you seal someone, they always end up breaking the seal and coming back. It's a good idea just to destroy everything. Yeah, there's no way to find out for sure. Well, if he read the inscription, 100%, I'm sure he did. It started expanding again? How did the abyss start expanding? Who is it? Is it that guy that we defeated? Oh, Anto Callius, but we killed his ass. Look at that, Catman is smarter than we thought. Yeah, what well, you gotta say, Chitara, I mean. Oh, the War of the Abyss is upon One, us. Two, and I'm coming for you. Wait a minute, what is this, Friday the 13th? I'm pretty sure, no, it's Freddy's coming for you, come on. Anyways, this was an excellent game. I really enjoyed the hell out of it. I am really looking forward to uh, the second game. Um, I can't wait to see. I know I saw some screenshots, You've and the they were very good. In the dark. And uh, they look pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I just think They've this game's really good. You had a lot of really good... Uh, Really good characters. Oh, I think there's a couple things that were wrong with it, but I mean, you can look over them and that's fine. But yeah, this game was great. Uh, I highly advise if you people like watching my LP and you have not picked it up for yourself, there is the uh, link in the bottom to pick it up for yourself. It's only five dollars. I mean, great, great game. And all of your green is turned to gray. And hell, I played it only for only about 15 hours. You've got to cut your losses, but end up killing time. So yeah, this song's pretty nice too. Stay but yeah, this game, counted. excellent game. I don't know what else to say. To Just a hell of a game. And I apologize if you guys want to listen to this song. But uh. The more you're pressed against but you know, I'm gonna yap over. I'm sorry. With all the past, the crashes so. I wonder if we get a, uh, I wonder if we get a, uh, you ride a chance the to save the game after night this. Into the dawning of the day to fall, the day well, yeah, I think day, I enjoyed, uh, I think Xeria is my favorite character, hands fall. down, and probably Galena, because they're both very powerful. I like Magus, sure, he's the lead character, but, uh, but he gets overshadowed by those two ladies. I mean, it's like a river you know, they love us. They all love us. And I like how they did the little cliffhanger at the end of the Silence game there. The tides could never kill. So that was pretty cool. Now I'm wondering, I'm wondering, like, 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 if Chronicles of the Dark Lord 2, if you're going to be able to transfer any information from one game to the other, like certain games I've played before, that would be awesome. Maybe not levels, but like, let's say, 
you did get like to a certain level of something, they would uh, they give you some, some items in the beginning of the game. Or like, like, let's say you played the first game, and uh, you beat the first game. Could you put in a code that you would get like at the end of this game or something, like, and would give you something special for the second game? That would be awesome. I'm not sure how they're doing it. And I'm hoping that they, I know this, I beat this game in 2013, I know they said that they're going to try to get the second game out in 2013, and I really hope they will, because I'd love to continue the story, because this one's really great. Um, you know, I saw some screenshots, like I mentioned, and, uh, the sprites are better, the sprites are bigger, actually, which is cool. The character art is less anime-like. Because I'm assuming that this was made on, like, an RPG Maker kind of uh, engine. And, you know, you only have uh, so many um, avatar faces that you can pick from, I guess. And, uh, you know, they used what they could. But I think this is really, is really good. Krista the Mad Herald, Richard Hull, and Jennifer Hull. Let me guess, uh, well, I'm not gonna guess, I'm not gonna bother. But, uh, yeah, great game. Thank you, people, you for Keith Sarath Studios. You guys were awesome. Into the dawning of the day to fall, the day, the day, the day. To fall. AOL role playing community, nice. I remember AOL. I never used to, well, I used to do that role playing stuff where you'd be in chat rooms, but I never did like actual role playing things. And look at that, there's some eyes. Cat's eyes. I wonder if Anto Callius is going to be the main dude, main bad guy through the whole thing. Who knows, right? We'll have to wait, only, uh, only the uh, Kisareth Studios knows. And I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. I say a lot of things wrong. Anyways, we beat the game! Let's check something out! If I go here... Will I have those items? Then what the hell was the point of getting those items at the end of the game? Huh. Anyways, this has been Kenshin1913, and I hope you enjoyed Chronicles of a Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate. If you enjoyed it and you do not have the game yet, I would highly advise picking it up. Uh, so yeah, um, I will see you in the next Let's Play. Bye bye